Question 34. <clears throat> the data chart to the right represents the local baseball team's shoe order. Write the linear regression equation for the line of best fit for the data in the chart. Round the numbers to the nearest hundredth. So the first thing we're going to do is write down point number number. That way we remember to round to the nearest hundredth is two decimal places out. So this is all stat. We're going to do L1, L2. So we're going to go to edit, make sure the data is cleared. So your L1 and L2 should be totally empty. And then we type it in very slowly. 68, 60, 64, <coughs> 78, 74, 78, 74, 60, 70, 64, 72, 74, 72, and 78. Now I had 14 pieces of data, so let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good, we're cooking. Now we go back up, and everything has to go in order when we're typing it. So now we have to go down this list. So now we're going to do 11, 8, 10, 13, 12.5, 14, 11, 7, 10, 9, 11, 13, 12, and then 13.5. And if I look, I finished. I typed everything. Now to do a linear regression, we go to stat, scroll right, and go down to 4, where it says linreg ax plus b. We hit enter, and now we basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot that and put it here. That way we could just analyze it. So let's look at this information. So if we look at this problem, it wants us to write the linear regression equation. So the first thing I like to do is write down y equals ax plus b. And now I'm going to find my A value. So my A value is 0.31369, whatever. So nearest hundredth, I'm going to go three numbers, two numbers after the decimal. If I look next door to my one, that three is smaller than five. So it's just going to stay a 0 0.31. So I'm going to have Y equals 0.31X. Now my B value, put a number after the two go next door, that's a 1, so it's going to be minus 11.02. And that's going to be my linear regression equation. Now, this part says state the correlation coefficient to the nearest hundredth. So that's going to be point number number again. And your correlation coefficient is your R value. So if I look here, my R value is going to be 0 0.945. But if I look, that's a 5. So that four is going to turn into a five. So I'm going to have R equals 0 0.95. Now, when it says describe the strength of the correlation, we have to look at that R value. So that R value is close to positive one. So what that means is there is going to be a strong positive relationship. And now, all we have to say is between height and inches and shoe size. You have to use the wording up here. So we have to say the height and inches part and the shoe size to make sure we get full credit. That is how you approach question 34 every single time. If this number right here was close to negative one, then we would say there is a strong negative relationship. If it is not close to one or negative one, then we'd say there is like a weak relationship. And if it was positive, it could be positive weak. And if it's negative, we can say negative weak or a weak negative relationship. Okay.